Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another beer review with me Ruku and today we're sticking with the trend of uh, English um, IPAs and, and stuff like that. So what we got here is Hobgoblin Gold. Now I've had normal Hobgoblin, wasn't particularly a fan of that so hoping the gold version will be nicer. Here it is, Hobgoblin Gold. Nice little goblin on there with the axe, double ended axe. This comes in at 4.5% and is a 500ml. Um, from the Witchwood Brewery, uh, which I think again is now owned by Marston's Brewery. Um, not 100% sure, but uh, it's from Oxfordshire, so brewed in Oxfordshire. Oxfordshire, if you want to be posh. Um, yeah, it looks good. Um, right. Uh, what does it say? So it says a solid gold legend combination of four hop varieties infused with malted barley and a touch of wheat Gives it its easy drinking gold beer tropical aromas citrus passion fruit and a biscuit like malt base Gives way to fresh fruit and lemon and lime zest uh, A hop kick riot of rascal refreshment Right, so it's basically given the game away for me, but I'm going to just erase all of that from my mind and see what I think of this. Because I really don't like to be influenced by what they say on the back. I like to make my own judgement. And there we go, there's the BL part of the Hobgoblin. And I believe if you put these caps together, and legend has it, it spells Hobgoblin. Or Goblin, even. So yeah. <laughs> Just make sure no nasties are in there before I even pour. This is it. Bit of dust. Right, okay, let's do this. It is a, a pale gold colour, as you can see there, I'm pouring. Just being careful with this now. Okay, I think that's a, a reasonable pour. We can see that it is. I mean, okay, this is a frosted glass, so it's giving the appearance of a darker gold, but actually, it really isn't. It's quite a light gold, as you could see from the pour. The head is uh, brilliant, it's nice and white. I'd say quite thick, but looking at that, um, not really seeing much carbonation through the frosted glass. Get it so you get it in this light, you can see how it changes colour. Weirdo. Eh? Right, the head is nice and white. Um looks like shaving foam. Could be good, could be good. Right, let's get some aromas, and then we'll get on to that important taste. I'm not really getting much in the way of aroma. A tad of wheat. I think for me it's just a wheat and a hop. It's really a fresh aroma. I wouldn't say it's tropical, what they say it was, but it, it's definitely fresh. Maybe a hint of white bread. Right, anyway, crack on. Yeah, okay. I'm not too thingy with this already. I mean, this is better than standard Hobgoblin, I must admit. Um, what I've got is a very dry, bitter beer. It's very dry, bitter. There's what I'm going to say is a grapefruit, lemon, lemon peel. Um, it's just really, really citrusy, but on the dry scale, and it's kind of powerful and punchy, as in the grapefruit, you can really get through, and it's quite a very dry beer, you know, the aftertaste and start of it is very dry. The head almost breaks that up a bit for you, and gives you... A nice foaminess and a hint of wheat 
the body itself is quite light. The body of this beer is quite light. There's no carbonation in the mouth at all. Um, initial thoughts then, it's not for me. If you're an ale drinker, you're going to love this. But for me, I, I'm not really too wrapped up with this. I prefer this over the standard Hop Goblin. Of course I do, because there's more flavour going on. And it's, it's for me, it's that sourness. It's that um, grapefruit taste that comes in that I'm not particularly liking. Uh, the body of the beer is nice. The head breaks up some of those flavours, but doesn't deliver much else other than just a, as a breaker. Um, yeah, so for that reason... <laughs> God, if I burp, sign of a good beer. Um, uh, oh, Christ. <clears throat> yeah, uh, dry aftertaste as well, if I've already not mentioned that. I mean, it's not... The more you drink it, the more you get used to it. And now I'm drinking a bit more, I'm getting a bit used to it. But still not really my type of beer. Uh, I would probably avoid this if I saw it. No disrespects to, to the brewery or Hobgoblin in general, but for me it's just not my thing. Um, you can get the malt now. Once it's settled down, the malt is starting to come in, but it's a little bit late. I'm going to have a few sips, I think, before that really settles in. And, and it's somewhat okay. Um, I'm going to score this... I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10. Not really my sort of thing. I can see the appeal. I can see and I can definitely get the flavours and I do admire them for having that. But for me, it's just the flavours. I don't like that grapefruit. I don't like that dry hop um, flavour that comes in. But overall, if you're an ale drinker, you're going to love it. So there it goes. There we go. Not one for me, unfortunately. But hey-ho, you win some, you lose some. Join me next time, fans, for some more beer reviews. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share my videos. And uh, let me know if you've had this and let me know what you think of it. I'd like to hear your views.